Hello, I'm back with another strategy, commentary, analysis, or whatever you wanna call it. This is part 3, we've done two parts now, and today I'm gonna show you a game where I played Farah, uh, the map is Busan, and uh, this map isn't the best for Farah, there's one map, uh, I mean, you know, every map has three, I guess, uh, locations so one location is good but the uh, others are not as good and i had uh, some problems with a widow because of that um, and yeah we'll, we'll just get into it and i'll explain later what i mean so already here at the beginning far isn't really good at uh, very close quarters like this like of course you want to have some i'm just gonna lower the sound one second yeah, that's better so anyways um, you don't uh, want to be in too close spaces like this it's not really great so yeah before I begin let's just analyze what, what's happening so we went up here uh, sometimes you can go here but people rarely do it I would I would kind of argue that this place is a little better for Farah because you can use all this space here so you can hide here you can go up shoot you can keep hiding you can flank around here so uh, yeah this side is usually better however in this case I, I can't um, choose because the teams usually go up here uh, so uh, what I try to think here is this one team usually pushes up here to the middle and takes over it. It might be mine or theirs. Um, even, it doesn't matter which team uh, takes the middle ground. You can still uh, lose if your team takes it first. So you just want to play pretty passive and and just shoot rockets kind of like this. Like here. If you can land a rocket here. Like now I'm not in vision but assume that... I shoot a rocket here. These hits are perfect. You hit like two or three people at once, and that's a lot of damage. Then you can only do that if you stay up here or yeah or down, but preferably preferably you're up here. Uh, so that's good. Because getting too close here isn't great. So anyways, let's uh, see what I do. I don't remember exactly. And a first person. So yeah, I'm doing that. I'm just pressuring them, breaking the shields. Uh, and see, that's what I meant right there. I don't know if you saw it. Uh, I shoot a missile here. I think I am hit a missile here. Look, I hit the Zarya. He hit the McCree. Yeah, that's two targets. That's okay. That's good. But you, yeah, kind of get it. Like, look how they're standing basically in a line. Like, do you see that? And if you just shoot right across there, that's really effective. So yeah, that's uh, that's what you can do at this point. So you can't be too aggressive here, because it's not a good place for you. And uh, I keep shooting here, because uh, the healers usually stay back. And that's logical, like if you're a healer, you don't want to be here and like taking the ash grenade. So they always stay around here. Maybe they'll go up here. Uh, depending how far the tanks are pushing and that's good because then you have still somebody to shoot at because at this point it's gonna be difficult to hit uh, you know the tanks running around this thing here so I just like shooting at the people in the back which usually are the healers let's uh, spectate here okay so now happened what I was saying they got the middle ground this isn't uh, such a big deal because they can still lose the fight however it does kind of keep a pressure on you and they did it because they have a shield we don't so they can push up slowly um, in this case like, you still have to play quite passive they can pick you off easily with a discord or anything so just try to like shoot a missile or anything just to do some damage and keep the pressure um, you will see what I do here, I'm not gonna spoil it, but this is actually a really good move. Can I see? 
Did you see that? G I got a boop in there. Uh, so yeah, the Red Winston is on my team. That's why the boop didn't uh, get blocked. And that that was really good boop. Like, look what this did. Let's back up a little bit here. So they're standing here, you see, as a team. And that one boop... Oh no, it's coming, the boop. There it is. Do you see that? Over here. The red thing there. Oh no, those are missiles. My bad, sorry. <laughs> okay, it's coming, it's coming. Okay, that was the boop. So, what happens? First of all, Sigma flies down. Their only shield tank gets thrown down. They both healers get pushed back to the side. Like they for like now they don't have vision on Zarya. She's out of position because of that boop. The McCree is on fire with no shield. And let's just see what they're doing. So I don't know what they're saying, but the McCree, I'm, see, I'm shooting at him more. And he is, he does a backflip. That's really hilarious. I didn't know he does that. Anyway, so he does a backflip. Uh, <laughs> I had no idea he does that when he jumps back in the air. Still, uh, now two players are down. Like, I'm not saying dead, but they're split from their team. This is really bad for them. And look, the uh, BAP is like, I gotta heal him, so I'm leaving. The Zarya is gonna have to leave as well here. And during this time, our Ash, is, uh, Ash here, and they're picking them off on the side since they don't have any healing. So you can see how one boop uh, uh, did change a lot in this place because they chose to stay up here and fight anyway let's keep watching so I'll go for the healer here I usually do that it's an easy target like you're not supposed to lose against a Zen here I'm missing a lot so wasn't too great my team or the Roadhog killed everyone I think on the point so as you can see this game I'm not doing that much like I got what a Zen I and I booped them down. That was my, I guess, my usefulness. Uh, but that's enough. Like it, it uh, lets you. It creates space. So now I'm just uh, when they're pushing up here. You usually, this is our roadhog. But usually you don't want to uh, go flank here. I've sometimes done that. It can it can be okay to do it if you have a barrage and you're like sure you can you know uh, barrage here from the side or if they're running through here you barrage them something but that's really risky I rarely do it usually you just want to be here and you don't like if you know they're gonna push there you don't want to stay here on the point and just let them take the high ground because this is a good position being up here and it's harder to defend down here obviously. Uh, not now in monster I think they will usually uh, fight up here uh, in lower ranks you might I've noticed that tanks will sometimes not even go up here they will just stay on the point here and be like ah, I'm just gonna wait for them to push us which isn't so great um, and if that's the case then maybe you shouldn't be up here but yeah if the tanks are here and it's not too dangerous and the, if you're a few people, it's good to push them here. This choke, you can do a lot of damage as far as. Okay, so he blocks my boop. The boop wa was meant to just, you know, push them back, make them, uh, like, distracted. You know, make them wait with the push. Because you see, they can push any moment. But the reason they're not doing it, because they're taking a little damage, Zara is half, so he's gonna wait for heal up, and and that's like wasting them time. And then when she gets uh, full HP, maybe the Sigma gets low. So yeah, they're kind of you can say wasting time, but yeah, they're waiting for a good chance to go in. Maybe they wanna kill the Winston here. And let's continue watching. Okay, so now you can see the Zarya goes in. And she's extremely charged up. You can see I booped myself back there. Because I saw that. That's a thing. 
can slow this down. If you see a Zarya... Oh, sorry. If you see a Zarya push up... Oh, I went too far here. My bad. If you see a Zarya push up uh, like this with 100 charge, you almost always wanna go back. Okay, so you see this. She's coming up here. And she can kill me in a few seconds in that. So you always have to back away from that. Even if you have heals. Uh, Zarya with ch full charge, very scary. You see, you see that? She got me down to a hundred in like a few seconds. Uh, you can see what I did there. Just again, use the boop. So they push up. And I, the boop, like always, it's to distract them, make them lose a sight of each other, uh, ruin their positioning. It helps so much. Like, it's a small thing, but it helps in the confusion. Like, there's a fight, everyone is running around, and there's a boop, it only adds to it. You see, uh, they all flew here, or three of them flew back here. Uh, this makes the... BAP lose completely sight of most of the team. They have the Zen, so it's fine, but still, it's a good thing that he doesn't have vision. So you, you could see that I did not go in there, since I'm waiting for the Zen ulti to end. You don't want to be going in otherwise. And I know it's gonna end any second here, so the, my idea is to you know, shoot them from the side. However, you can see the McCree and knows I'm here or he was just uh, going here so I think I died here you see I, I go up and this barrage here I honestly uh, wouldn't suggest doing this since you, you see what he does you see there he just uh, he just flash banged it <laughs> so funny when he's flying <laughs> wait why does he look so silly Okay, he looks really weird. I don't know why. Maybe I'll take a screenshot. Maybe I don't. Whatever. So where were we? Um, I died. And uh, the reason that ulti was bad because McCree noticed me. Had he not seen me, I would have gotten him and uh, Zen. Um, looking back, I would maybe... Uh, maybe had uh, gone up here instead in the middle uh, the reason because people if you're like a hit scan and 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 um, mind you mind you i had not shown myself up here they only seen me here so if i had come up here it would have been better because you saw the mccree would was anyway going here and they will usually look here and there not as much here they can be looking up here if you're like jumping here as a Genji or something all the time, then that won't work. But looking back, yes, I would have went in here and barraged much better. And that's the thing, not show yourself in obvious places, especially if you're gonna barrage. You have to try to figure out where they won't be expecting you. Okay, so I was just going in for the soldier here. Boop myself closer. Then I see that they're standing in a... Uh, they were standing in a... How do you call it? Together in a group. So that's splash damage. That's why I changed target. Uh, to be honest, my targeting here isn't the best. Going for the tank instead of the soldier at the beginning. It's not great. Uh, ideally, now looking back, a better approach would, I think, be up here and shoot on the get the soldier before the healers get him. Or if you don't want the soldier, get somewhere up here and just shoot at the healers or maybe here. Because here in the middle, yeah, it's a very risky. You can see I almost die, but um, Mercy saves me, I think. Yeah, she does. So yeah. It, and we lose that fight, I think. Yeah, and then me and the Mercy just escape on the side here. You can, that's a thing. I know many of us don't know this. You can fly uh, all around here. You can even go in here, like to their spawn from this area. 
It's a lot of spaces and you can go down. I've done this. You boost, look at the wall, boop, fly out here and then just try. Uh, yeah, I guess boost. So boop out here and boost up there. That's what I meant. Okay, so we're doing another push. I failed the boop and go in a wall. That's not too good. And, and that's a thing you, you, you will notice. Like mistakes like that, the boop and uh, maybe the positioning or the angle I approach. Like I'm telling you, if you can get those things to work every time, then that will make you climb even faster because uh, those things will affect uh, how many kills you get and stuff like that and it's not so much about skill like even if you can hit every target if you are positioning yourself bad or making small mistakes like that all the time it's gonna affect you your rank a lot and uh, you just uh, get rid of that by practicing so you don't do it in my case, I still do it, so I'm not... I still need to practice. Okay, so you can see they did... I think they did a bob here. Uh, soldier on the side, just shoot to make him back. Uh, shot the boop because I didn't see how close they were wanted them on the right side here to just jump up further back so we can push up that's our bob so now we got to push up very nice we get our roadhog over here uh, got a pick you can see the Zen the Zarya is now busy with him here on the high ground we have a Winston pushing them so I go up it's, uh, is that this is what I mean with uh, tanks making space the hog going here and uh, making killing one and making the other shoot at him Winston sure he died but still he, he really made them focus him this gives an opportunity for us now they're gonna get ulted by Sigma who was waiting for that so I don't I'm not sure if we're gonna win this fight but we'll see Okay, he gets saved by Baptiste with the immortality, extremely good. I ha hide myself behind this uh, middle thing. I usually it's best to hide with immortality, unless you're full HP and it's a 1v1. Then I guess you can try to destroy it while getting shot at. Go for the... Uh, or I try to, but you see I'm missing him, not getting... Here I boot down someone, it was... Uh, the BAP I think. So that's again, just use boop when you can to get people out of position and it was to help me not die as quick. And I'm backing because we lost a few. Tanks are back. The Doom is still being annoying. Here I think uh, the Zarya goes, she wants to get me so she forgets. Uh, Winston still doing space here, you see he's alone on our Winston but he's let instead of both Doom and these guys and Sigma, all of them blocking, we got space. So the Winston is playing great, I think. And I think the Zarya dies because our Winston. Oh, he survived. It's very nice. Okay, they. No, she didn't die. So they regroup. And I think so. Somebody just told us, let's go right, because it's not working and we... And here I chose, if they're gonna go right, they're gonna focus there. So I, I'm like, okay, I can go here. And hopefully my idea was this. I can catch one of the healers here in the back if the tanks are over here. So they won't see me and I get a healer. But this doesn't work out since the Zara is the one in the back, which is bad for me. And I think I died here. Okay, so I managed to boop down bat or soldier again from the high ground there you saw that it's, uh, using the boop all the time when i can no i disengaged from that which is good i couldn't have done a lot there there was a uh, zarya there and the and the doom if he gets here and does a right click i'm done in that close space 
and I won't be getting heals up there, so I decided to not go in there. And um, here, this is my team getting grabbed. So I, I'm not sure if they're gonna die or not, so I'm kind of, I guess, shooting just waiting to see. We lose one, and I feel like we can still win this. Because I got a barrage, and they're kind of grouped up here, you can see... Uh, I see how they're all up here, four of them you see. So it's like when you see a lot of people in like this, especially in a team fight when they're confused and distracted, like making a quick boop or a boost and just a crazy barrage, that's usually the place when you want to do it. You don't want to be coming from afar and letting them know you're gonna do something. Because what do I mean from afar do something? What I mean is this. They might or might not know you have barrage. In this fight, they even if they know or don't know, all they know is this. I'm close because I have to be close. Uh, or since I'm going with the team, there's no other way I can be. So they're like, okay, he's not this close. The far is not here because he's gonna barrage me. He's just here because he's with his team. So I'm not gonna expect him to barrage. Had I been, let's say, over here shooting and then slowly coming closer 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 and then like here and i'm up here and he's like turning around then he might call out like oh shit there's a far he might barrage because that's pretty weird angle like why was i over here and i have traveled all this way to get close but here it's they won't think about it they're just like ah, it's a team fight nothing really special maybe in in master I wouldn't say everyone keeps track of ultimates. They a few do, not everyone. Mm, F, like it's not a lot to do that. And here they definitely won't be thinking about it since I'm here. So I see an opportunity to barrage this since they're distracted. So I go up, barrage, get uh, Doom Fist and Baptist. Zen pops ulti, which is great, he used it up. We did get the Zarya since Zen was too far back. It was placed a bit weird. So we got three picks, and yeah, so I'm going for the soldier here. When soldiers run away like this, you should you should usually get them. But the Zen gets me. I think I got rest here. I'm not sure. No, I didn't. Okay. Uh, I would have still chased the soldier. I did. The fact that the Zen got me is just unfortunate. Because it was a free kill had he not. So here I'm just trying... I can't get close because there are too many. Uh, Sigma did a ulti back here. But for some reason he didn't catch me. Guess I got out of it in time. And here are my idea was to go up here. And when you're like this, similar with the barrage, you charge up, bam. And uh, you can boop them, and they all fly down. That makes a lot of distraction. Here a boop is, would be great if I came up here. Three of them get down, and the Zen is alone here on the side. And then you just go for the Zen, and they can't do anything since you're behind here. So you can create a really nice situation there. But you have to do it sometimes to go, you have to go like this, sneaky. So a lot of the time you have to uh, play like, um, I guess like, uh, flanker sneaky kind of character it's not like a genji you can reflect or dash whenever he wants you don't have the speed you can just boop and but that's not that great to get away so fine here i see the doomfish he hit me so i boop him away and i think okay I, don't, I didn't fight him so i'm gonna be going up here we can show up and see what i do so you can see i i knew the soldier was there i think i heard him I missed the Zen, he was like just next to me, if we look back here a second. Uh, so I'm be coming up here. I hear him and you see I completely missed these guys, I was so focused on the soldier. And which is good, you wanna get the hit scans. Um, so anyways, I go for him, I think I kill him, yes, easy pick. Then I get surprised, since remember I missed him, I see a Zen and the Doomfist has found me, the guy chasing me from before. So this isn't a good position, uh, if you can boop away from this, but I don't think I'm gonna make this situation, it's really bad, let's see. Yeah, I die. 
exactly. Oh, okay, I get rest, so let's go down. Okay, so I got rest, so the only thing I'm thinking of now is to find the healers. But, yeah, we get the... Uh, yeah, we get the point since my team carried here. So you can see I didn't do a lot the first point, and it's not gonna change a lot in the other map. Speed up. But I'm still trying to show you how you can be useful even though uh, the map is bad for you or you're not playing it so good. Uh, and But you still wanna be far, right? So I'm just gonna explain something real fast here. This is a perfect Widow map. A lot of people usually complain when I go far here. You know she can just snipe you here at the spawn. Uh, if that happens a lot, or they have a good widow, that's when you just need to start going around here. Now, and you'll see me doing that in a bit. So, but you have to try going here at the beginning, you have to see what they have. And they just shoot rockets free or charge, why not? Okay, my Mercy gets hit by the widow, I see her in that. So I just shoot some to make her back. Look if she's there, she's not, she tried to get the healer. And I'm just taking cover behind this, because I can't get up. If I go up, it's a widow, and there's a soldier. And the mercy can sit on me all the time. So this is kind of why this position is pretty bad. The reason I went here at the beginning, I usually do that, is because the team might not have a widow and good hit scans. Then you're completely free to just fly up here and keep shooting. Because I won't kill you. Uh, and, and I don't mean you have to get super close, but you can like fly over here and just sh keep shooting. But in this game's case, they have hit scans. Uh, I kind of sh should have known that since they had it before. But and widows like this map a lot. But yeah, I tried it and it didn't work out. And I don't think I'm gonna do a lot uh, work here because of this bad positioning. You see, I'm trying to go left to get away from this middle. And I get up here, get, try to get the soldiers getting help and heals, so I'm just ducking, and as soon as I stop ducking, the widow just pops me. And uh, so this is an example of um, a bad approach. Uh, had I known they had a widow, which they usually do on this map, this approach wouldn't been the greatest. Much better to stay over here, and uh, if you can get over here on the side here, I'm gonna show you. Just shoot like this when they're pushing, take cover here, go over here, perfect cover, boost up here, and shoot like this. You have something to hide. And ideally, but this doesn't happen often, you can get up here if your tanks are pushing them. Then you can just shoot away, and you have got cover. But here I didn't get that, and I tried to adjust and get away from the middle, and I failed. Okay, so I'm basically useless. Okay, I think we lose that. Yes, we do. So I'm just regrouping now. That sucks losing the first fight like that. And this is when I choose, okay, I'm gonna go left. Because there's nothing I can do in the middle, almost. You see the widow's there. Even if the mercy hits me, she's just gonna headshot me. So I'm useless and the mercy will die. So I'm like, I'm going here. I don't care. And this is nothing to do with my team. I think they will go here too, because they kind of notice me going. Uh, yeah, so they see me going here, so he's like, I'm gonna go with him, and then one follows the other. So this wasn't communicated, it's just that I chose to go here because I was getting wrecked in the middle. And you can see why this also works. Look at the enemy team. They, they saw a few of us a moment here, so they're <laughs> still here. They're, they haven't called it out for some reason. Soldier seems to be knowing something's going on. He might be hearing me. But uh, we got a free entrance to the po point, basically, by just by going a different way. And this is what I mean about not being in places they expect. So now you can see the Zarya notices. Okay, so now they know, but she's still looking left. Soldier noticed me, and they say, okay, he's capping. And I'm like, okay, my job is done here. I went on the point to cap. The reason I wanna cap it's just a thing, you wanna scare the enemy. 
I've noticed this so many times. If you start capping, the enemy team will sometimes half of them will go to the point and half will stay somewhere else, and that uh, can make their positioning worse. If they had good before that, they might be like, "Oh shit, we gotta go point," and then they leave, and half is like, "No wait, <laughs> you know." So yeah. Okay, take cover here. That's good. Here they can't do anything to you basically, unless they go up here with mercy boost and shoot you down. But they don't have that. Here I can just boost up, use it as a cover. If they come here, I shoot. I can boop. Perfect. So let's see. I see the bat, but the soldier here on the side. See if I don't know if he kills me. He might be. So he's shooting at me. I hit him once. I try to boop him down or to the train, but he falls to the right. I see him shoot there, you see, through the glass at the left side. So I'm like, that's okay, because here, sure, he can try to shoot you here. You can just boost now, and you got the high ground. And I knew there wasn't a widow, I don't know, she swapped. Where is she, by the way? Oh, there she is. She's far, far away here. And she's busy there. And I'm still hiding, so she can't really see me. Because this angle is hidden from her. So you see why this is a much better position than the middle. And I see the soldiers, so I want to kill him. I'm like, I can solo this guy easy. Shoot once, I was hoping to hit. Didn't hit, but it uh, made him like notice me. It's like, okay, I'm gonna fight you. But he didn't see me going up, so you see why that's bad. You see, like, this is where he's looking now. He, he saw the rocket and he ran like here, he's like, ah, he's up there. But I'm already next to him, he missed me. And that's why high ground is good. And he sees me. He runs away. I don't know why he panics, he could have won that, but he panics and gets, runs to him. So I'm like, I'm gonna chase this guy. He ran away so I can, you know, get some free hits now. Oh, and he, and by accident I get him. That, I didn't expect him to do the a helix thing there that was just accident he damaged himself and i could one shot him because of that and uh, yeah the bat kills me maybe he called it out or the bat just was after me so we did get the point though my team won that fight so like i said i'm not doing a lot this game but I would say both of these maps aren't great for Farah. I Maybe mean, they can be good if they have bad hit scans or they don't play it. And this is free damage. I go too deep. Soldier just picks me off here. He was waiting on the side. Let's go back to me. And this is a good angle. Now, when I know the team fight has started. If I don't see a widow here, there's nothing wrong with shooting here. Because when a team fight starts, widows usually don't want to stay here. There's, look, she doesn't see what's going on down there. Widows like to be like here in the middle, here maybe, like you saw here earlier. And if you're coming from here, this is okay. But only when the team fight has started and you're late to the party. If it's the beginning, then the widow will be there and she will shoot you. So here, I'm not getting punished for coming this way, but the widow found me, I didn't notice her, and she just picks me off in a second. So yeah, I've died a lot now. I'm going left, I'm like, I'm still gonna go left then, so the widow can't see me. We slow down, and I do the same thing, go on point, and did you see, I go on point, and let's w watch their reactions here. They are looking over there, and now when I go point, let's see what they do. Did you see that? Zen Bap turned. Zarya turned. And Sigma seems to be turning. Soldier doesn't care. Yep, four of the four of the people all turns to the point and I just hide. So what did that do? Well if my team wants to be pushing here like the McCrees, this opened up the middle a lot for them, and that's just because I touched the point and back. I'm just being annoying basically, but it's messing their uh, them up. So you can see they're up there like you're thinking okay there's a Farah there but at the same time there's a, they're coming here and there's a Farah there so it really makes them confused 
this is a good example of how it can be useful even if you're not doing a lot in the match. So I'm waiting, looking for an opportunity to go in. You can't go in against those three uh, healers and DPS, you're gonna die. Just waiting, if they wanna push me that's great, I'm gonna see. Push up a little, just poke them, hide again. So this is waiting, waiting, looking for an opportunity. Not really doing anything, just waiting. And now I decide to... Um, I see the Zen down here alone. Even if the soldier is up here and sees me, um, I'm not boosting yet. So if I just boop here and start shooting him, he has to come down. And that's a bad spot for him to be at. So you see, I'm just going in here, still protected by this from the soldier, even if he wanted me to go in. And I'm battling a Zen that's out of position. I go up and that's not good. See, now I'm in the vision of the soldier and he can kill me. Better to have stayed down there. But I panicked because I saw the BAP, I think, or... I don't know why I boosted, to be honest, but... Yeah. Now the soldier is shooting at me. And at this point, when the soldier shoots me, I'm like... Okay, I'm gonna die in a few seconds, but I had the barrage. And, uh, and even if I die here, the barrage is great. Because can I get both healers? That's so valuable to my team. And I get both and die. Perfect. Like, like how are they gonna win now if no hits? Tanks can just push and yeah, I think they lose after that. Yeah, my team cleans up. Oh no, wait, there's... No, 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 it's more to the game. I, as you can see, I come back from spawn, go to the left here. It's the same thing, avoiding the widow. So you see how I adapted and it's going be much better for me. I have to do that with Farah. Can't just be going the same way. I have to constantly adjust, play passive sometimes, sometimes aggressive. It's like a balance you have to keep up. Playing just aggressive is gonna make you lose a lot. So my idea here was this. You can back up just a bit. This place is great if you know they're pushing. Uh, if they are pushing and they're all down here, you can just shoot rockets and get so much damage and kills. I wait too long since I'm not communicating with my team and neither is my team. So you can see, when I got down here, there's nobody here. They're all like on the point and there's just like a zen. So I'm like, no, I'm too late. But I can still get the zen, I think. But I miss all this here on the side, two hit scan and a bat. So three hit scan or two and a half since bat maybe isn't a hit scan. And I'm like, I'm gonna get you Zen since I got too late to ambush them. And I die, basically useless. So, what could I have done better here? Well, for one, I could have maybe done a different approach. I could have shown myself and shoot once or so. Reason I didn't was because I was afraid of Widow. Ideally, I would have asked my team, like, are they pushing through the choke? Uh, this is then the choke. Then they would have said yes, and then I would be like, okay, I'm going down. Didn't do, didn't show myself, didn't shoot, didn't ask them. So I was completely gambling that I would time this perfectly. I didn't, and when I got upset and chased, I got caught here in the crossfire and basically got nothing done. Fortunately, I win this, or I don't win, but my team win. Okay, I come back. I do go mid here. Now I don't know why I went mid here, that's pretty weird. I guess the reason I went in is because we have 90% and that's very close to winning and they can win this also, so I'm just kinda panicking I guess now. Fortunately the widow doesn't wait for me, she's busy and this is perfect, look what it, I can snipe her. Because here is the thing, if one of these rockets hits uh, she will almost always have to back because she will be so low. She will, be, I think, below 100 HP. One hit, she's like at 80 now. Splash damage, second, third, and I didn't kill her, but she was like 10 HP. She wall hacks, I hide, and I'm st again in this 
bad position. Bap heals me, fortunately. I get surprised by a Zen who was awaiting me and he has a volley charged up and I think it kills me. Yep. So splash damage and volley kills me instantly. Yeah, and the rest is just my team uh, carrying, I guess. I don't think I do anything else here. Yeah. Our send out it helps our team. Yeah, and they win. So, this was an example of, uh, I guess, I got kind of carried most of the game here. The reason being the map was really bad for Farah. I didn't position myself great. Um, but my point with this video was to show you that in a bad situation, you can adapt and you can still be useful to your team. And you have to still think of this that the, the reason they went hit scan uh, soldier uh, widow was because I was far all the time. And, uh, and remember, and I kind of think like this. Not everyone is the best hit scan player, and as you can, as you saw here, I wouldn't say the soldier was so great. Widow was a little bit maybe better, but it made them not able to ha push. Like, imagine if they had a Genji blade or something; it could have been a lot better. So it kind of makes them not so useful, since they're just trying to find Fara. But if I'm playing at the sides, hiding, I'm not doing a lot. But now there are two hit scans stuck without finding a Farah and they're meeting a dive team. And hit scan isn't great against dive, that's the thing. So anyway, uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Now you see, in this third video, now we see how we can play Farah and how you can think in a monster game, even if it's going bad for you as a DPS. Uh, so yeah, see you in the next video.